Hey beauties! Today I'm going to share with you my January favorites. I only have a few favorites this month. I have a mixture, kind of skincare, hair care, some makeup, um, and a few random favorites as well. Let's start off with the makeup. I only have three makeup items that have been my ride or die this month. And two of them, surprisingly, are two nude lipsticks. I don't think I mentioned either of these in my December favorites. I might have, but I haven't, I didn't look, so I'm not sure. They are from MAC, and one of them is Faux, which looks like, um, oh, which looks like this. I cannot remember now if I did put these in my favorite. Hope I didn't, but if I did, oh well. And then this one is Syrup. So they're very, very, I don't know if you can really tell the lighting. Um, I'm working on something new, so I'm hoping that it's okay. Don't know if you can kind of tell the difference. They are very, very similar. Um, I didn't realize how similar they were until I kind of got them both. Um, but Faux is more of a satin, almost kind of matte finish, which I love personally. And it's also a little bit like lighter. And then syrup is a luster, lust, a luster, and syrup um, is pretty much exactly the same color as my lips. All this color really does for me is just kind of adds a little shine to my lips, which I really like because I'm not a huge gloss person. Um, so I love those, and I've been embracing the nudes lately, and I'm really liking them. And the next makeup item is an oldie but a goodie and a very, very random. And it is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I have been really liking this to set my under eye concealer. Um, that way it doesn't crease or move. Um, and so I've really been liking that, which is kind of random. As you guys might already know, I am a cosmetologist, so I also do hair as well. And one of my absolute favorite products that just came out from Moroccan oil is their styling gel and this is in the hold strong I really like this one personally for myself because when I wash my hair I never blow dry it the only thing I blow dry is my bangs so I don't blow dry my hair I let it dry curly um well my hair's kind of like curly wavy swavy however you want to go with that and with this I find that my hair holds its natural curl a lot better it doesn't frizz it does, it, this isn't crunchy, it's really, really, really nice, and I just love how my hair looks when I use it. And also on my clients, I really like the, and also on my clients, I really like the medium hold, um, because I like to blow out with that. Because again, it's a gel, it's just gonna hold down any, um, any frizz, and because it's Moroccan oil, it is infused with argan oil, so it is hydrating, and it adds a lot of shine. So I love to blow dry with the medium. So if you have hair that's like straight or that, you have curly hair and you like to blow dry it, the medium is a really, really great. And then if you have hair that is curly or however you like to wear it and you like a little bit more hold, the strong is really awesome. And the next is a kind of another random hair favorite that I have been loving for years and years and years and years and years. And I've never talked about it. And just like these past few months, because of the colder weather, I've been drenching my hair in it and it is again a Moroccan oil product It is just the Moroccan oil treatment I have the regular one because I have super thick hair and I can get away with using this one they do make a light version which is usually geared more towards people with fine hair or really 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 blonde hair um, so I love this I will use this every single day if I'm just restyling I will only use one pump and I'll rub it in my hands and rub it like mid shaft to ends mostly on my ends if it's a day where I'm real thirsty, I will use two pumps. And then if it's a day I know I'm gonna wash my hair the next day, I'll probably use like four to five pumps of this and I don't care. I'll run it on my roots, I'll run it everywhere because I know I'm just shampooing. But, obsession! Okay, anyway, let's stick with the theme of hydrating. I'm gonna move on to skincare. I'll start with the products I don't have in front of me. I know. Aveda just came out with three new um, products in their botanical kinetics line. If you're familiar with that, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, if you're not, you should definitely check it out. They have really, really great skincare. Um, anyway, so I was given samples through work and I have been obsessed. It's a rich cream, a soft cream, and then there's an energizing eye cream. So basically the rich cream is for people with dry to very dry skin and you use it AM and PM. And then the soft cream is for people, look, everyone else, normal skin, 
Um, and again, you can use it AM and PM. How I use them is I like to use the soft cream in the morning and I like to use the rich cream at night because it is the winter, my skin gets a lot drier and I really enjoy using the rich cream kind of as my night cream because I love them both and it's really, really hydrating. I will read you guys a description. This is for the Botanical Kinetics Intense Hydrating Rich Cream. So it says, increase moisture instantly and help your skin retain it for 24 hours with vital plant with vital plant energy that stimulates hydration, helping recharge your skin cells to power skin's natural moisture system. So yes, that's that. And it says for dry to very dry skin, which I already said. Um, so that is that, and that's exactly the same as the soft cream. The soft cream is just a little bit lighter and is for all skin types. So like I said, I use soft cream in the morning and a rich cream, excuse me. I use soft cream in the morning and rich cream at night. And the next product in that same range is the Botanical Kinetics Energizing Eye Cream, which I love. I'm obsessed with it. It's so creamy. Oh my God, I love it. I wish I had it here so I can kind of show you guys the texture. I mean, I don't really think you can see the texture on camera, but I wish I could show it to you anyway. But again, I'll share a picture with you right here so that way you can see it. I'll read you the description as well. See your eyes come alive with vital energy of plants. A plant energy complex gives the skin a boost and helping increase energy in the cells to help reduce visible puffiness in the skin around your eyes while licorice root, known to be a soothing property in it's some place I can't pronounce it, I'm not even gonna try. The ancient healing art of, of India helps diminish the appearance of dark circles. It says, with licorice root and coffee bean extract. So coffee bean extract's obviously gonna wake you up and that was the plant energy that they were talking about. Um, ophthalmologist tested and 98% naturally derived. So I'm obsessed, like I already said, I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's my favorite daytime eye cream. Now with that being said, my favorite nighttime eye cream is this month, since I got it, has been the Mario Badescu Glycolic Eye Cream. This eye cream is extremely, extremely thick. I literally need this much to do both of my eyes. It is so thick, I just, I'm obsessed with it. Especially, like I said before, I get very dry in the winter and I really, really, really need something super moisturizing. So let me read this to you. Glycolic and antioxidant rich emollients are an active ingredient in this eye cream that smooths delicate skin and softens the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Gently pat a small amount under, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So yes, it is anti-aging because, you know, you, it's never too early to start with the anti-aging. I am 23 and girl, I'm gonna get some wrinkles soon. So, I'm loving this. And I know it has beeswax in it, so that's why it's super, super thick and like really kind of waxy, but I'm loving it. I think it's great. I can really definitely notice a difference in my under eyes in moisture. I mean, like I said, I don't have, I mean, I don't have a lot of wrinkles, obviously, because like I said, I'm 23, but Definitely moisture-wise, I can tell a difference with that. And moving on, we have my last two favorites this month are super, super random. One of them, one of them being my mirror. I'll leave it up like this. You guys know it's a normal on one side, magnifying on the other. I got this for Christmas for my boyfriend because, well, I asked for it. Usually, I have to get real close like this when I use a compact or anything that comes in a palette, I usually have to use that mirror. I have to get so close so I can actually see. So I love having this and I'm able to kind of bring it towards me and I can zoom in if I want. Um, also, although, oh sorry, <laughs> although the magnifying side's not the best if you are not having a good skin day and all you're looking at is your nasty zits. So trust me, I know, <laughs> I do it all the time. And last but not least is my almost, yeah, I think my absolute favorite all, out of all of these, and it is my new bag. I'm obsessed with it. This is a bag, it's from London Fog. I just love it. So this is kind of, I took a bunch of stuff out so I could actually close it and show you. So here's just like the inside, it's just kind of like a cool type of pattern. And I just love the little details on the side. I like that, I mean, I don't want to pretend, but I do like that it kind of looks like a little Celine. I like the shape, how it's like that. And I love the little shoulder strap because it's short enough where you're not 
looking like a grandma, but it's long enough where it's not like up your armpits. And I love it. It has a ton of little pockets and I got it from Marshalls for $20. It was on safe, like super, super, super sale. It was supposed to be, I don't even know how much it originally was supposed to be, but it was $20 when I got it and that's all I care about. So I love it. That's gonna complete my favorites for this month. That's all I have. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please share with me in the comments what your favorites are. Leave me any suggestions in the bottom bar. I'm going to plan on doing a Valentine's Day look next week, I believe. So let me know what you kind of want to see. That would be awesome. Please subscribe. And as always, have a beautiful day. Bye.